Hey guys, it's Mike, and in today's video, we're going to talk about dimethylamylamine, also known as DMAA, as we're going to refer to it in this video. So let's get started. DMAA is a drug made synthetically in a laboratory. It was originally used as a nasal decongestant. Today, DMAA is sold as a dietary supplement used for attention deficit hyperactive disorder, or ADHD, also for weight loss, improving athletic performance, and bodybuilding. Some products claim that DMAA naturally comes from rose geranium oil. Supplements that contain this ingredient sometimes list rose geranium, geranium oil, or geranium stems on the label. However, laboratory analysis shows that this drug probably does not come from this natural source. It is thought that these manufacturers have artificially added this drug to supplement rather than obtaining it from a natural source. Dimethylamylamine is considered a drug in Canada and is not permitted in dietary supplements or natural health products. Many athletes take DMAA to improve performance. However, DMAA was added to the World Anti-Doping Agency's prohibited substances list for 2010. Therefore, competitive athletes should avoid taking it. Due to safety concerns, DMAA has been temporarily removed from military stores in the U.S. It has also been banned in New Zealand. Its use has been linked to several reports of serious life-threatening side effects. DMAA is thought to have stimulant effects similar to decongestants such as pseudoephedrine and ephedrine, and others. Some promoters say that it's a safer alternative to ephedrine. However, there is no scientific information to back up this claim. In clinical research, taking a product containing DMAA plus other ingredients seems to increase heart rate and blood pressure. There have been several reports of dangerous side effects, including stroke, a condition called lactic acidosis, heart attack, and death in people who have taken DMAA. Special precautions and warnings, pregnancy and breastfeeding. Not enough is known about the use of DMAA during pregnancy and breastfeeding. Stay on the safe side and avoid use. High blood pressure. DMAA might have stimulant effects and can increase blood pressure. If you have high blood pressure, avoid taking DMAA. Glaucoma. DMAA might have stimulant effects and cause blood vessels to constrict. This could worsen some types of glaucoma. If you have glaucoma, avoid taking DMAA. Irregular heartbeat. Heart arrhythmia. DMAA might have stimulant effects and can cause rapid heartbeat. This could worsen heart arrhythmias. Surgery. DMAA might have stimulant effects, so it might interfere with surgery by increasing heart rate and blood pressure. Stop taking DMAA at least two weeks before a scheduled surgery. Stimulants speed up the central nervous system. By speeding up the central nervous system, stimulant medications can make you feel jittery and speed up your heartbeat. DMAA might also speed up your central nervous system. Taking DMAA along with stimulant drugs might cause serious problems including heart rate and blood pressure. Avoid taking stimulant drugs along with DMAA. Some stimulants drugs include amphetamine, caffeine, methamphetamine, etc. The appropriate dose of DMAA depends on several factors such as the user's age, health, and several other conditions. At this time, there is not enough scientific information to determine an appropriate range of doses for DMAA. Keep in mind that natural products are not always necessarily safe, and dosages can be important. Be sure to follow relevant directions on product labels and consult your pharmacist or physician or healthcare professional before using. All content is credited to rxlist.com. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. And as always, cheers and ciao, guys. Until next time, peace.